So you mentioned the interference in the last few years uh, from 2012. It wasn't the liberation that people expected. It wasn't that end of the end of the old way, end of the old world sh turning point. Uh, where are we now in this, at the cusp basically of, of right, entering 2016 uh, at a place where it's not quite as positive as people prophesy, but at the same time, it's not as bad either. We're not seeing a total global world war yet. So what do you, what do you make of this time period? Well, then the next two years are very important, man, um, because, because these have been pushed back, pushed back within, within the barrier. You know, these forces, and and so some people have saying that they that they checked out, that the that the draconians and and the zetas are gone, but people don't know how this kind of warfare works. They want to give us the illusion that you know everything's fine, and but, you know they're gearing up. But we have the next two years to really start pushing this, you know, and to, and and to really let people know you know what's going on and get them in the position. To where they can start learning about their own systems and how and how their own unique systems work on a multi-dimensional level, so that when these things do come back and they, they do try to you know slam the hammer down like they're going to, we'll be ready for them. We were once mankind. We were humanity. And now, we're no more than pests. Vermin. They came here to exterminate us. They took our history and culture. They covered our landmarks in dying humanity. The wail of the dying carried for miles. They're building some kind of breeding facility for those that survive. People that have defected say it's worse than hell. Humans becoming some kind of surrogate incubators for the alien young. They killed us in waves when they first arrived. They built these mega structures that spew methane, manufacturing their atmosphere. They've sown their crops, snuffing out our plant life, raising the global temperature, causing our cities to flood. They waged war on Earth. They set fire to our forests already hard to breathe. Impossible to breathe if you are close to the stacks. Rats. Insects. Humans. They hack into our psyche, into our minds, paralyzing us. Taking control of the cerebrum and the limbic system. Rendering us a slave. We've been able to design a brain barrier. It protects us from their influence. They know we can't produce enough of these for everyone. That it's just a matter of time before the entire planet is theirs. But we are survivors. Scrounging enough to eat. Gathering enough morale to fight.
have built a conservatory for us. Paradise. Put down your guns. Come on, you freaky faced fucker. Come with us. Do not be afraid. They have built a conservatory. to the new conservatory. Take me with you. Please. There it is. There it is. Even for small victories, it seemed that everything was lost. Humanity would soon cease to exist. Yeah, yeah, sure. What about the... the item? You've heard about it. Yeah, uh... It's not for sale. You piece of shit. <laughs> you don't fucking... Wait. My friend. We need your help. You know that. Yeah. Everything has a price. And we can pay you. Sure. Mm. Hey, Jasper. I'm glad these fucking things came here. You mean that I get to burn whatever I see every day, every night? No laws, no fucking jails. The fire. Fire? What is it with you and the fucking fire? Fire! I'll die and perish in the fire someday. You say you need my help for what? For a fucking hope for things to go back to the way they were? <laughs> Just give me, give me some bait. Some bait? I just need some bait. Some of your people. Some of your people. Some of the, the sick, you don't need them. Two seconds away from blowing this motherfucker's head off. Oh, it'd be so good. So much fun. Just a little more. Give me some bait. Give me some bait. It'll make the boom bigger. I'll take out an entire convoy. That'll help you, right? I have enough ordnance to make this fire breathe. You're an interesting person, Nash. Have fun in the fire. Some sick people in exchange for Nosh's item. In peacetime, such an offer would be insane. Immoral. But now, 
Anything's possible. Ma'am, we've done everything we can. He's not responding. All right, let's go. We picked up Amir in Sector 7. At first they thought he was dead. Some refuse from one of their experiments. Amir? Amir! Amir. Hey. I'm not gonna hurt you. Look at me. You can help us. Kill him. Just fucking kill him. All that shit they put in his head, he's not even one of us. Stop! Anymore. I'm not gonna hurt you. I know what they did. The world had changed all of us. But Amir had been reborn. As something entirely new. all these men. They're going out to fight. To try to make it how it was before. To stop those beasts from doing more of this. What is it with her and that fucking thing? Her daughter is gone. Everyone's daughter is gone. The ones that are experimented on, who survive. You know, the very few. Her theory is it's because they have some kind of predisposition. They're savants of some kind. And Amir is like that. These men are trying to stop the genocide. Alpha team, move out! Ready to sacrifice themselves. Let's go! They don't have to die tonight. Help. 
help us? Please, tell me what futures you see. Threat down. All right, everyone, triple check those brain locks. I don't want anyone looking at it. And keep out of its line of sight, right? what they did to you they do experiments all day and all night they tear people apart it's wounded that fucking thing don't let it get away millions die no one lives not through that Every once in a while, a miracle happens. One in ten million like you. Someone who somehow survives. Their cruelty. Power. A gift. Beyond man. Don't look at it! Look away! You can do the things they do. Put it down, Martinez! Put it down! Don't do it, Martinez! Don't do it! fucking head off.
For thousands of years, shamans have crossed over to the hereafter, the netherworld, to find and heal the souls of people. But at the dawn of the 23rd century, they turn from healers into mankind's most deadly weapon. Going to the netherworld. Yeah. We're all going there. Have you been there? No. Not me. My master's been there many times. The shamans go there to kill the machines, don't they? Not the machine, but its soul. Do all machines have a soul? Yes. Every object and every being in this world has a soul. The good ones we can convert, the bad ones we destroy. Does the shaman cry sometimes? <laughs> no. Shaman never cries. If he ever did, he wouldn't be a shaman anymore. Get out of the way! position on the other side of the plane. We've thrown everything we have against it. We've lost nearly 2,000 men so far. That's all the information we could gather about it. We're going to need a mobile shield by unit with us. My shaman has to come as close as possible to the target before he transits to the netherworld. A shield fire was longer than five to six minutes, max, against this monster. That is all I need. I always wondered what you guys see over there in the nether room. Must be pretty weird, I guess. It's an A-type personality. Narcissistic. Probably prone to falling for unmerited flattery. And tends to over-intellectualize. Also tries too hard to understand. He believes the manipulator's a reason for everything he says or does. That's how you can trick it. What is wrong with you? What? You worry about me. I worry about your leaked profile. If the machine knows about you, it'll try to manipulate you. In all the years I've known you, I've never heard you talk about your family, your parents. Is there anything I should know? Can you hear me, Joshua? I can hear you. Do not worry. I love you, my lord. I would not want to lose you. Not such a pile of bloody scrap. a god, why is he not showing his face to me? I would look at him and I would smile. 
Once I've crossed over, do not fail me. Yes, Shaman. Yes, Shaman. The Shaman missed his life for you. You risk yours for him! You say Kikibara Ikon Danakote, second suite, chapter four, Adagio. It's too short, the piece is only four minutes long. That is how I will break it. Trust me. I always trust you, my lord. Let's go. Are you? You look wonderful. You are far more beautiful than I expected. You remind me of someone. Who is that? Seduction. Use charm in order to lower the target's defenses. She was my friend. I was in love with her, yet she never loved me. Do you know who I am? Of course. It's a beautiful day today, isn't it? Diversion. Target tries to steer the conversation onto another topic. I wish it could last forever. Time is so short, isn't it? They increase the price for fruit, but you should never freeze strawberries, as they don't like it. Evasion. 
target gives irrelevant responses in order to evade the manipulation. I know why you're here. You're not a soul like the rest of us. You're a shaman. But you will not succeed. I've seen men like you. I've destroyed them. Good. Then you know why I am here. You came here to cheat me. Oh, by the way, I saw your file. I know about your parents and the way they died. It was a beautiful day, like today. Your mother was making dinner, your father was working from home. That day, you returned to your hometown. You went to your parents' house. You locked all the doors. They looked at you through the window while they burned to death. That must have been terrible. No, it was an accident. No. It was an accident! No. That was a choice you made. Part of your shame and education to show your total determination towards your new life. That was a choice you made. No, I never chose. Couldn't you just have told them to leave and disappear? But you choose to obey the order. So tell me, shame. Why? The manipulator's reason for everything he says or does. That's how you can trick it. Oh, you're back. Your favorite dish is ready. <laughs> What's so funny? What is funny? You believe the story about my parents. What a simple-minded fool you are. They are alive. No, they are dead. It's in your file. You said yourself I cannot be trusted. We fake my file and pass it on to your intelligence. It will take me only one more minute to finish this here. You're lying. Listen. You hear the music? Perhaps you are familiar with it. It's certainly not my favorite, but it is four minutes long, which is precisely why I chose it. So tell me, machine, why would I choose a piece that is only four minutes long? Why? Why? Because I knew it would take me no longer than four minutes to end you. You are a dead fucker. I am your servant. I will do as you say. Please, please don't kill me. Then turn against your god. 